Today, we're diving into a critical, high-stakes topic that could be secretly crippling your Windows 11 experience. I'm talking about the very latest preview update, the one labeled preview update KB5067036 for Windows 11 version 25H2, build 26200.7019. This is not a drill. What many users are now encountering is nothing short of a massive quality control failure from Microsoft, bringing two separate, yet equally critical, stability and usability problems to the table. If you've installed this update, pay close attention, you might be running into these issues right now without even realizing the extent of the damage. Let's begin with the first catastrophic failure, the breaking of the Windows Package Manager or Winget. For those who rely on Winget, the modern, efficient way to install, upgrade, and configure applications using a command line, this is a showstopper. Winget is bundled with the app installer, a crucial component for any modern Windows Power user. However, after installing this latest preview build, numerous reports confirm that attempting to use the Winget command now returns a stark, frustrating error. Winget is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. Think about the implications here. An entire core utility that defines the modern Windows command line experience has been rendered completely inoperable. It's as if a major system update simply ripped out a foundational brick from the wall of Windows 11. The utility is missing, corrupted, or somehow fundamentally interfered with by the update process. We will explore the technical details of how the update might be mismanaging the app installer path or dependencies, speculate on the precise code change that caused this breakage, and detail the various troubleshooting steps users have already tried, confirming the issue is squarely with the update itself. This isn't a small bug, it halts productivity and forces users back to the cumbersome, manual process of application management. But wait, there's a second, arguably more insidious problem lurking in this same update, one that directly impacts system performance and precious RAM. This is a classic case of what appears to be a memory leak centered around the task manager. The issue is subtle but accumulates with disastrous effect. Every normal Windows 11 user opens the task manager to check resource usage, to monitor the system, or to end an unruly process. Most users, when finished, simply click the familiar X button in the top right corner to close the application. In previous, stable builds, this action terminates the task manager process. However, in build 26200.7019, that X button is lying to you. The process of task manager is not ending. It remains open. The trick is that if you look at the processes tab in the task manager itself, you will only see one entry for task manager, perhaps leading you to believe everything is normal. But here is the critical discovery. If you use the task manager's search function or navigate through the details tab, you will find a hidden truth. The system is retaining a separate, open instance of the task manager for every single time you click the X the button. If you open and close the task manager five times using the X, you will find five separate task manager processes consuming memory in the background, silently cannibalizing your system resources. Each process, while perhaps not monumental on its own, adds up quickly, especially on systems with less RAM or for users who frequently monitor their system. This is a severe memory hog, a phantom resource drain that users are not equipped to track without deep investigation. This failure of the X button to function as a close command is a major breach of fundamental UI UX design and core operating system stability. We will extensively analyze the impact of this accumulation, comparing the memory usage over multiple instances, demonstrating the problem live, and discussing why this resembles a memory leak in its practical effect on the operating system's performance. It's an unacceptable oversight to have a core diagnostic tool like the task manager itself become a source of system instability. The disappointment here is profound. Microsoft is clearly pushing new features, the glitz and glam, while seemingly neglecting the fundamental stability testing that prevents such amateur-level bugs from making it into a mainstream preview update. A preview build is still widely used, and issues like a broken winget or a phantom task manager memory drain should have been caught long before this stage. While the task manager issue does have a temporary workaround, you must use the end task option from the context menu to manually terminate the process, this is a clumsy, inconvenient necessity imposed by a flawed update. 
we need to hold Microsoft accountable for these stability regressions. This update is a clear signal that the quality control pipeline is severely broken and we must raise awareness to push for an immediate hotfix. The rest of this body will be dedicated to a comprehensive deep dive into the community response, technical speculation on the root causes of both bugs, and an extended demonstration of how to confirm if your system is affected, culminating in the best current advice for all Windows 11 users regarding this faulty KB5067036 update.